us Alex here you view guide and thanks a lot for joining me to the second video on Photoshop post work 2.0 live training video series today I'm gonna show you how you can literally in minutes paint lighting and add photorealistic look and feeling of the light to your image by using Photoshop only those techniques is something really really special that I was keeping for myself for a long time but today I'm willing to share it with you so come along to my computer and I'll show you how it's done all right so the first thing that I want to show you is uh, how you can add really nice uh, glowing effect to your bulbs to your lamp so basically this can work with any lamp any anything that spreads lights you can add a little bit of uh, of a glow effect um, just by using V-Ray self illumination pass. So I'm gonna drag and drop this pass. By the way, if you control A, control C, and you can use this pass as a mask in order to isolate just uh, just the bulb. So I'm going to make a layer, reveal all. I'm gonna paste it here, control V, and voila. I have I have only um, only those those bulbs isolated. So uh, I can also apply this layer mask. And I have, and I have created only the 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 bulbs pass. So I'm going to bring those bulbs to my image. And I'm going to position them on the right spot. So basically, this you want to do on your image, not separately. So first, position it, position your bulbs, and then uh, isolate and create the mask in order to uh, isolate your bulbs. Okay. So the basic the basic principle around this is uh, you can double click on your layer. And you can add inner glow uh, effect so you can basically play with this inner glow effect just a little bit you can uh, control the amount of spreading the amount of glowing and you can also control uh, the color of this of the of the bulb so if you want to have reddish or yellowish something like that that will fit better your scene illumination you want to do it okay so this basically you can uh, you can use on soft light mode so you get only only the glowing effect and then you can control it you can control it with uh, with opacity how strong you want to have them so basically something uh, under 50% will look realistic okay Something like this could look fine. Okay, so the next thing is uh, we want to add some add uh, some lens flare. Okay, and as you see here, I already added a lot of lens flares. Here you go, and it looks uh, it looks realistic. And uh, I got a lot of questions of uh, people asking how did how did I did this? What the program did I use? So basically, uh, here are the lens flares. Um, those lens rails can be created with knoll uh, light effect, knoll light effect from Reg Giant. It's a it's a plugin that simulates lights and and lens flares uh, in different types and different shapes. So basically, I have pretty much pretty big images of those lens flares, and I can uh, I can drag and drop into my Photoshop and uh, manipulate the size of this lens flare just to fit my bulb something like this just make sure uh, you have only one direction of the lens flare don't uh, don't kind of rotate it and then you have all the lens flare going one way and <laughs> and only one of them or few of them going the other way so try to stay in the same direction of the lens flare okay so something basically like this could work fine and as you know from the previous tutorial in order to isolate the blacks we need to uh, put our layer into screen mode and voila we have we have uh, we have created our really nice looking lens flare for lens flare and um, in order to uh, as you see here we can we get some um, borders that have been created from the lens flare. so in order to remove those we need to add some mask and really easy we can remove those something like this would work fine so here you go 
with really nice looking lens flare to our bulb. Also, you can control the opacity in order to adjust your light better uh, to fit your bulbs. Okay, so this is the basic principle how you can add those uh, bulbs. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually share some of those uh, lens flare. Uh, you'll be able to download them below this video. Okay. Um, another nice technique for the day visualization, how you can add uh, add light, is uh, is pretty much simple. We want to simulate light coming from the window. I did several tutorials on making the real uh, sunbeams coming into the room. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make soft light uh, presence in your room. Okay, so make something, some something big like I don't know, something like this. Uh, really take a really big um, brush. Okay, and add another layer. Switch on the white. Maybe increase it just a little bit more, and paint few spots where your light should come into the room, and make this sort of simulation of of light presence in the room. Okay, so the next thing is you want to switch it into soft light mode, and voila, we have really nice lighting coming to the room and giving really nice direction motivation. This is why uh, day visualizations look good because they have one direction of, of light. And if you have like both, from both directions, you have light, you might get flat image. So in order to avoid that, you want to increase the appearance of one light uh, in your scene just by adding uh, those small things, okay? So uh, this is one technique. Another technique to add really natural glow is um, you want to duplicate your layer. Let me just close that, the first one that we did. And as you see here, it's pretty much sharp here. So by adding glow in those areas, it will soften uh, those edges and it will actually bring the feeling of, of light coming into our scene. Okay, so we're going to do it by using, um, by using the sort diffuse glow. So I'm going to add diffuse glow. Whoops. Just make sure your background right here is white and not black. So I'm going to add it again, diffuse glow, and voila, I'm getting really nice glow areas everywhere. So grayness, you don't want to have grayness, so leave it at zero. Glow amount also depends on your scene, so something like this. I know, I know it's, it's look, it looks very over brightened and very over, over glowed, overwhelming, but, um, we're going to reduce opacity and we're going to use masks, so don't worry about it. Something something about it, let me just zoom out a little bit, something about it could work fine. You want to have really nice glow effect around your objects here. And um, now we can add a mask and we can remove this glow from those areas and we can leave it only at the entrance to our room like this. And now we can also reduce opacity. So basically this effect shouldn't be used more than 30%. Otherwise it starts getting really unrealistic. And you can see actual glow, so you don't want to see actual glow. Okay, so something like this could work fine. And also we're going to add the light that we painted with the brush. And you can we can see actually how, how this appears right here. We get really nice shadows, we get really nice light motivation to our room. Uh, we get really nice glowy effect here on on above the chairs and those are those are without it. So we have we get this contrast of glowy stuff and really really high contrasted stuff. Okay, so um, this is it. This is basic uh, techniques for adding light to your scene for painting light in your scene. Um, I'm gonna share more stuff pretty much soon, and of course I'm gonna share a lot of good stuff in uh, in a Photoshop Post Work 2.0 upcoming training starting next week. All right. So thanks a lot for watching. This was Alex. Hope you find this useful. Post a comment below. Talk soon. Ciao.